Harvey Pennick called it the magic move. What is that and how do we do it? That's coming to you right after this. One of the most common questions in golf is what? How do you start the downswing? Luckily, we have some help from Harvey Pinnock. Now, some of you are going to go, who was he? Harvey Pinnock was a teacher for Tom Kite and Ben Crenshaw, two world-class players. So we're going to take a look at the Little Red Book and see what he described, and then I'm going to show you how to do it and some pitfalls that people may get into when they try to do it themselves. Okay, so in the book, there's a chapter called The Magic Move. Mr. Pinnock says, start the downswing by returning the right elbow to the side while shifting your weight, same move, two things need to occur at the same time. Weight goes to the left foot while the right elbow returns to the side. Great information. Now, how do we learn to do that? Here's, first of all, what I see when people think of trying to do that. It turns into sometimes a real catastrophe. So they'll get to the top of their swing and they'll try to get the elbow to the side by doing this. So from the front view, it becomes this massive early right side bend. Now that's not really what we're trying to do. So let's show you in a moment how to do that correctly. Now with many things you're trying to learn to do in a golf swing, the best way to do it is the slowest way and you start without a club. So let's figure out how do you return the right elbow. I would just call it the upper arm because if you get your brain too much in the elbow, again, that's when people just start either pulling the elbow way out in front of them or just doing that number. That's not what he was describing. So when we get <coughs> the elbow to bend, no more than 90, and the elbow is allowed to raise, by the way, You see, I'm not using my spine to do this. I'm just lowering or reattaching this arm to the side of the body, okay? So we would start doing this. First of all, just feeling that piece, how to do it without doing this number. So we may just start standing up and go that move from the side. So I'm really lowering both hands both arms are lowering. And then I'm going to start a little shift. Weight's going to the left foot. Now, I can add the club in. Arms fall. Shift. Now I can do it in posture. Because what we want to happen in transition is the club starts to shallow. That happens from the elbow, let's call it the arm itself, is reattaching to the body as the weight begins to shift. And then we can start blending it into a longer downswing. But we need to do that quite slow at first. Let's go no club. Let's learn the arm move first, and let's add the shift, then let's add the club back in, and let's watch ourselves do it. Because what did the old wise man say? If you can't do it without a ball, you'll never be able to do it with a ball. If you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. But if you work on those two moves, you'll start to develop this really great transition and teach yourself how to get your weight left, how to shallow the club, all in that magic move.